Hi, welcome again to a five minute review. Today we will see how to add a curtain wall a door. A curtain wall a door. It's not like the same things. I will explain. Some new uh, Revit users, they struggle with that, but we will demystify that today. Okay, let's see how it's worked that just to add a normal door in a wall. Like it, uh, I will have here a normal wall, okay. Just a basic wall here or exterior basic wall. I will create it here. And how you see, uh, like uh, in uh, any uh, parametric software or a beam software, you have this relationship between element. Like when I hover over here, you see, okay, now I can have that door inside that wall. Okay, just automatically you have this relationship. If I can just like uh, like here nudge it a little bit you see that is a relationship between a door and the wall in a parametric software or a beam software like a rivet but sometimes user they get confused okay if for example okay for example i have here instead of having basic wall i will have here a curtain wall okay a curtain wall like we you in a rivet uh, with out of the box or a rivet out of the box template come three uh, type of a curtain wall but they are like the same just like here you have uh, some come with million and other one just empty we choose this one like this one it's not with the it's not uh, we don't have uh, the million we have only this uh, grid okay but if i want to add a, a door in in that wall i go here like a door and i will i want to add it no way okay you have this uh, this symbol that means you cannot add it here even if i i come back here you see here i can add it here to uh, to uh, uh, to a wall like uh, uh, like we did but here I cannot. But how you can add a curtain wall? He, here is the trick. I, uh, I escape a couple of times. And when I go here to do curtain wall, I hover over here. You see, hover over. I didn't click, okay? I don't click nothing, okay? I just hover over and I tab, tab in keyboard. Tab one time, second time. Now I get the panel here. When I click here, I go here to the uh, um, to my property and to type selector. And when I go here, I can choose here the the, uh, the door that I want to insert in, in inside that curtain wall. But I don't have it. The trick here is to load it. Okay, if you don't have it loaded, you ha you, you must have a family in your library. But here in out of the box, it come uh, here insert load family and i go here to uh, to my library out of the box library doors and you need to select the family if i selected open now when i come here to my panel and tab tab i get here the panel and i when i go here i find it here you see i find it here door curtain wall i get here i selected and now you will see here that I have my door inside the curtain wall. It's a little bit tricky for a uh, Revit user, the, the, uh, especially the people they just start to use Revit. Uh, the, there, is, uh, there is some frustration, but you see now with this uh, video how to add a curtain wall, how to add the door in inside a curtain wall. Thank you. I hope this video helped you to demystify how to insert a curtain wall door inside.